Hey everybody, this is Will over at MCG Tech Talk, and today I'm going to talk you through on how to download and run Malwarebytes. Malwarebytes is a very, very good application. Um, what it does is it scans your computer. It's, it's commonly referred to as a secondary scanner. Uh, you don't want to have this as your as your only antivirus, um, but it's really good at picking up a lot of the little junk that gets installed in computers over time, like your your garbage PC pit stop applications, your free registry cleaners, and things like that. Uh, anything by Conduit. If you see Conduit, you can uninstall it. I've never seen anybody in my whole life ever legitimately use it, so I don't know why it's still out there. But it is and Malwarebytes will remove it. Now there are two there are two different ways, two different categories that you'll see when you run Malwarebytes. One of them will be like a orangish color and the other one's going to be uh, red. The orange color is what we call pups, which is potentially unwanted programs, which is the conduits like I was saying and all the junkware that doesn't need to be on computers. The other one is, the red one is actually infections. Now this, this, this will take care of most of it. I mean, you still, you still need to, you know, run a, have a good antivirus program, even if it's Windows Defenders, if you're on Windows 10, which I actually have liked Windows Defender as of late, um, or even, even Avast was, is pretty good, but I think I think this is one of those applications that everybody should have on their computers. There was an upgrade. They are now on Mal Malwarebytes 3, which changed the interface a little bit, and they now force you onto the premium trial. But if it's a good program, you should purchase it. The, that's the only way that these companies can, can continue to make really good programs is if you go, hey, here's some money, do stuff with it. I mean, they're they're constantly updating it it's it's all, like the virus definitions it seems like you can click it let it update wait 15 minutes click it again and it will update to a newer definition which is super cool and they also bought adw cleaner and the devs working on that application now work for malwarebytes so and it, that's that's good adw cleaner is a very it's it's, it's one of those things you don't need to run, but maybe once every six years or if something happens, like you do get infected because it, it will find little browser objects and stuff like that that need to be removed out of there and take care of it. But we're not talking about that right now. So I'm going to walk you through on how to download, install, and run Malwarebytes. There are two different ways that you can do it. You can go to malwarebytes.com or .org, and then you can go to free download, and then let it run. If you're on Chrome, it will automatically do it. Uh, if you're on Firefox, it might ask you to save file, same with Edge and Internet Explorer. So you just let it download at 60 megs, it's pretty quick, because I don't have a lot going on here. Another way you can do it is if you go to 99.com, which if you don't know about 99.com, this this thing right here, all of this stuff is you just if you wanna if you need Firefox and Chrome and you wanna put Avast and Malwarebytes and 7 zip on there on, on like a new computer, you just come through, you just click, 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 and then click get your nine night and it will download download a tiny little installer. And then from there it will actually install all of the applications without any of the junkware on it, any of the optional stuff it will just it will put it on there and it's super great but for now we're just going to go to malwarebytes click it now we can go down and get your nine night let it download it and once it's done which shouldn't take too long we're going to open the nine night version if you do open the malwarebytes installer uh, it's a it's a good application you can just next through it and just let it do its default stuff if you have uac turned on you're going to have to click yes let it do its little thing. See, see, look how amazing that is. You just, just, it'll download it. It'll install it. It'll tell us it's finished. If it runs into some sort of issue, the, the error codes are really easy, and then it will pop up actually on your default browser and tell you 
why that happened. So if you do have some sort of issue, you can actually hunt down as to why. But if you get to the point where you can actually download the installer, you're kind of good. It's already done. So we can close that. We can close our web page. And look, Malwarebytes is right there. Like I said, with Malwarebytes 3.0 or 3. Point whatever, they are now forcing a trial on you. So you can learn more, which is great. The more you can learn about this application, the more comfortable you'll feel with it. It's a, it's a good application to have. Just from here, you're going to close it. There is one checkbox that you need to check. You need to go to settings. And then you're going to go to protection. It's just the next tab over. And then you're going to want to scan for root kits. And I haven't really came across a lot of root kits lately. Everything's now ransomware and pups. But it's always good to turn that on. And after that, you're just going to need to go to your dashboard. Scan now. It will automatically check for updates. Once it's done checking for updates, it will then then run through its scans. And anything that pops up will be able to be quarantined and deleted and all that good stuff. There shouldn't be anything found on this one. You never know. Oh, if, if I run it on somebody's computer it seems that I'll find at least a hundred different pups at least the highest I ever found was probably four or five years ago and it was somewhere around 38,000 different pups now if you have conduit installed and you think okay that's that's one pup that's that's not one pup because this will find every registry file every actual file within it and it will count it so even though conduit is only one application there could be 25 different actually files that are on the computer and maybe you know 15 20 30 30 different registry entries that are on it and then it will delete all of them and since i am running this in a little vm it's going to go a lot quicker than than yours will I'm going to say give it an hour at least, sometimes two. If you're running a super old computer, if you're running like a Windows 10 32-bit OS, uh, come back in it in a while. Um, eh, it's not much to do to it. You just click it, run it, and let it do its thing. I've, I've never had Malwarebytes come back with a false positive, so if it finds something it's pretty good to delete and with this premium trial it'll actually it will actually scan for you automatically in the background the free version does not scan so if you do decide that you don't want to pay for it which you should you should pay for it if you don't pay for it then you'll have to go in and manually run the scans every time you want to want to run a scan it's not something that you're gonna to have to run every day even even once a week might be a little much. Um, once a once a once a month, depending on how much you download, or if you start to feel that things get hinky on it, it won't change home pages and stuff like that. So if you have updated Java and then you just click next on all of it, and your your browser is now pointing to Yahoo, which you should fix right away. Uh, it won't it won't stop with that but it'll find things like like i said the conduit stuff it'll find the uh, weather bug junk that gets on there um and if it everything that it finds just select it all quarantine let it reboot if it does find something red like an infection then you might want to run it again in safe mode and then also run your antivirus program and just let that do its thing and then you, you might be good uh, especially if you're in a older system if you're on Vista or XP this is definitely going to help because Vista and XP should be should be dead to you but if for some reason you're still running it you, you definitely want to have this on there obviously it's not going to find anything because it is a VM but anything that pops up just, just tell it to tell it to nuke it and let it reboot